Nation, looky what I got. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> now, if you haven't seen the review of the new Ghost BC LP, uh, I will leave you a link in the DB or uh, description box, not douchebag or douche box. Uh, but we're not here to talk about Ghost today, because we've already talked about Ghost. We're here actually to talk about GB, or Gamma Bomb. Gamma Bomb is a Northern Ireland-based uh, crossover thrash metal band, or just flaying out thrash metal band, that along with uh, bands such as Municipal Waste and Bonded by Blood have really brought a new school attitude uh, to the old school idea of thrash metal. And this idea of crossover thrash basically has a lot of punk influence, kind of a little bit of suicidal tendencies thrown in there. And it is just about playing at breakneck speed. And Gamma Bomb has had a really interesting uh, rise to the top, or rise to where they are right now, considering they have experienced a lot of self-recording. Uh, they have been signed to Eric Records. They are now no longer with Eric Records. They are with another record label. And they've also offered albums for free. One of the only bands out there that have offered albums uh, for free download, even though they were signed to a major label which I'm sure just made Earache so happy. Actually, they might have been cool with it. Earache's a weird label, man, and I really, really like them for it. They really release some of the most interesting and just loud music that you can find. Uh, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about the Terror Tapes. First off, if you haven't seen the cover to this, you definitely have to either scope it out on Wikipedia or your favorite uh, you know, cover scanning or cover viewing website of choice because it's really really cool it reminds you of one of you of one of those old vhs boxes that you get from like the 80s or the 90s something that really just appears really really corny or something that you would expect from like a corny horror movie or something like that something that is meant to both scare you but also make you laugh so like a horror comedy and it really just has a really nice presence to it and it, i just really like it it's it's really neat you might not agree but you know just at face value i think it's really cool now, Gamma Bomb is going to be known for a couple of different things. Big riffs, uh, vocals that kind of remind you of a cross between, obviously, a lot of the other crossover thrash bands of the time, such as Municipal Waste. I hear a little bit of uh, really, really old-school anthrax in there with the vocals as well, and I also hear some suicidal tendencies. Uh, but the big riffs are definitely one of the big focal points. There's a lot of pop culture that are included in there. They, of course, did a wildly successful video of, uh, or not video, but... Uh, cover of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles theme song, uh, which spread across the internet like wildfire, which definitely garnered them a lot of acclaim, and is definitely one of those classic moments of the past couple of years whenever I discovered it for the very first time that really gave me a lot of, I, I got a lot of pride and a lot of, you know, real just satisfaction knowing that my generation uh, has really now been represented well by uh, individuals that may be actually a couple of years younger than me. People that also uh, maybe did not grow up watching the Ninja Turtles like the day that it came out, but you never know, uh, but definitely have still discovered some of those old cartoons, and there's all, just a lot of pop culture in here. There's stuff from Tetris, there's stuff from, you know, RoboCop, especially on this album. On this album, we have Beverly Hills RoboCop, and we have Smoke the Blow with William Dafoe, or Willem Dafoe. So there's going to be a ton of pop culture in between the rippage, in between the awesome vocals, in between just the breakneck holy shit motherfucker pace. And that is what Gamma Bomb is all about. And they are very, very good at doing it. Now with Crossover Thrash, it is sometimes very difficult to gauge an album, principally because there are a lot of things that they are focused on principally. And the one thing that is probably of the utmost importance is the speed. And the speed is definitely not something that we have to worry about on this album because there's plenty of it. Let me tell you something. If the Roadrunner from the old Looney Tune cartoons uh, was in metal form, there's a very good chance that Gamma Bomb or one of these other crossover thrash bands would definitely the persona uh, that the Roadrunner could definitely uh, become in musical form because there is a lot of speed on these tracks and that is definitely a positive thing. Uh, it, it is just pinpoint accuracy. They are very, very technically efficient. And the funny thing is is that this is just a really fun album to listen to. You know, it kind of gives you a lot of 
you know, throwbacks to those pop culture elements of the 80s and 90s, while also kind of giving you uh, almost like a modern cultural feel to uh, what you would sort of expect from a horror movie, where there's maybe hordes of zombies chasing after you, or cannibals, either that, or just, you know, something really fucked up is going down, and whenever you watch those movies, you think of people running very slowly or running stupidly, tripping over themselves and stuff like that, and you think to yourself, well, if I was in this situation, I'd be running much faster. I wouldn't trip over myself, because God damn it, I know how to walk. I progressed past Goo Goo Gaga, I can only crawl stage, and I'm definitely getting the largest implement that I can find and beating the shit out of somebody if someone were to happen to catch me or something would happen to catch me. This is definitely more so what I imagine uh, for a soundtrack of a, you know, just swarm or horde style horror movie as opposed to something that just sort of falls along the traditional horror movie soundtrack, you know, acropos. So, whenever we actually judge this album, we're going to be taking a look a little bit more at the consistency of it. We're going to be looking a little bit deeper into... Uh, how it really plays from front to back, and this is definitely an easy listen. It's one that, uh, you know, barely eclipses the 38-minute mark right around, and it's something where, with crossover thrash, you don't want to kind of overindulge a listener with too much of the same thing, because it does tend to get a little bit much if you have 17 or 18 tracks of the same thing over and over again. Now, this is fantastic at live shows, because you can encourage a whole hell of a lot of moshing, a whole hell of a lot of chaos, you can cause a lot of breakneck shit to happen at a concert whenever you have a style of music such as this. However, it doesn't translate quite as well on tape, mainly because it's one person sitting alone, or uh, maybe there's a group of people, and of course they're going to have the tendency to want to bump into one another and be retarded, but then they might, you know, break televisions or other things that are, you know, personal belongings of theirs, so not to be really encouraged. Uh, but whenever it comes to this album, the consistency is very good. It's a listen that, as I said previously, is very easy. So it is very, very easy to listen to this from front to back without feeling too overwhelmed uh, and without feeling as though it's taking it's being taken a little bit too far. There's only 12 tracks on this release. There's a track that's only 17 minutes long, uh, Shitting Yourself to Live, which whenever I first saw that thought was going to be a funny-ass cover of Killing Yourself to Live by Black Sabbath, done in 17 seconds, but it wasn't, so that was a nice little surprise for me. And overall, I just like the feel of this album. I think that it definitely has a lot of solid aspects. This isn't something that's necessarily going to, you know, break my mind into two and become number one for the top 25 list, but this is a fun listen. It's one I definitely have to give an 8 out of 10, 4 out of 5 stars. Really enjoyed it. It was a really nice little throwback for me to uh, really think about a lot of that stuff, and it's just good old-fashioned crossover thrash, and these guys do it really well. So definitely pop this sucker in, and I, I have to show it again. Oh!